Back in the Middle Ages, sugar was only available to our ancestors part of the year, as fruit or honey. Sweetness was in short supply. So where did sugar as we know it come from? Well, it originated centuries before as a giant wild grass in the South Pacific, where its value was soon recognized. Legends from there tell of a story of how sugarcane sprouted a man and a woman who founded the human race. Wild cane was first tamed and farmed in New Guinea, and over time spread by travelers across the globe. By the 13th century, it had migrated to the Middle East, where traders discovered it and carried it to Europe. A commodity so rare, sugar's value equaled that of precious gems. And what about its first appearance in Britain? My journey begins in Cumbria, where I'm going to meet a sugar historian whom I'm told has a rather hands-on approach to his subject. All of the sugar we imported into this country came from the Arab world via the Venetians. The Venetians were the great sugar controllers. They bought it from the Middle East, and then they shipped it out to every other European nation, and they put a huge premium on it. If we go back into the 13th century, small quantities of it are coming to this country, but they're only being purchased by royal palaces. So it was quite expensive. It was very expensive and it was rare. Sugar in the early modern period is very much a symbol of status, but was used as a plastic medium, as an art form. We've got some marvelously detailed images of these sugar sculptures. Oh my gosh. There's one piece of sculpture which was six feet high, entirely made out of sugar, Six feet high? Yeah, so it's standing like that on the table. And this would be consumed, it wouldn't just be ornamental? No, it was totally ornamental. It was totally ornamental. You're talking about a kind of decadence, really. Ordinary people eat food just to sustain themselves, but the very wealthy use it to show off. And having a sugar sculpture six foot high on your table is the equivalent of having a Maserati nowadays, I think. And all we have is this evidence of it. That's the only we evidence them. we have are the actual images of them. But with the other bit of evidence, which is not really obvious, is we also have some of the tools that we use to create oh, it. Yes. So, for instance, this lovely wooden mould has got these four little goddesses on it. I'm going to get you, actually, to have a go at making some of this stuff, oh, if you're interested. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. OK, one more there. It's sticking there. If you just drop that onto the surface, oh, wow. you've got a, your own perfect little oh, Grinling Gibbons. My goodness me. OK. One of the first recorded royal requests for sugar was by Henry III in the 13th century, who ordered three pounds of it. If so much is to be had, he is reputed to have said. It was so rare and luxurious that today's equivalent of a bag and a half from a supermarket might be all there was across the entire kingdom. You have created your own be beautiful little... Oh, are you impressed? I am, because <laughs> I'm so cack-handed normally. <laughs> <laughs>